last time on The Bill. Okay, what we got to deal with, you can see a little bit of rust right here. This is a body mount. This is what goes through the frame, mm -hmm. and you actually goes down through a hole, and then you run a bolt into this bolt, and that's what clamps the body to the frame, the frame that we've been grinding on. The problem is, with this being rusty, this will give away and break, and then all of a sudden the body will start bouncing on the frame. You can't have that. So we are going to cut the metal here, down here, across here, and up like this, take that out. The reason is, uh, part of the reason, this bolt here, this there was a bolt head on the end we cut it off. Mm -hmm. It's rusted solid in there and it's in it's now. It's used to be able to just screw it right in there like these. It's the body metal thing, just bolt right in. Yeah. So what we have to do is take that out, fabricate a new piece of metal, mm -hmm. take a nut on the opposite side, weld it on, then put it on there and then weld it all the way around, grind it smooth. There's two ways. You can use a whiz wheel or we can use a plasma cutter. The plasma cutter works good as well. Um, but you have to have a very steady hand, otherwise you're all over the place. And then it's hard to fit it in. I like to do as much as I can with this, and then I'll bring the plasma cutter in afterwards if I have to. So you've got a straight line here. So you basically, you don't want to go all the way in so it's buried like this, because then you have no play. You can't move it. So you just barely get it through, and then walk it down so it's just barely get. And even if you don't go all the way through, you can always go back and do it again until it's all the way through the metal. Okay, we got the cut started down here all the way around. Uh, we can't cut here because the whiz wheel will go right through this lip and we want to keep that intact. Same thing with here. Uh, we might be able to cut that, but with this little piece right here to here, we're going to cut with the plasma cutter. All right, now that we've cut that off of here, what we're going to be doing is tracing the outline of it, make a template of it so we can create a new piece of metal to put under there. And uh, so all we need to do is just mark it along the lines of what we just cut off. This is what we cut out. Here's the cardboard template. You can see if it's right over there. So now we'll trace this onto a piece of clean metal. And when we cut it, this little bend in here, we'll bend it after we make the cut. I mean, if you look at it, well, the way we did it originally was here, was here. So it, it does extend a little bit there. So yeah, so we'll do that, and we'll just, what we'll do is we'll leave the line down here, because we can okay. always come back okay. and easily trim it, because we'll lay it up there to see how it fits. Right. We really only have one straight edge, and it's at the bottom. So let's, uh, let's do it like this. I would do it. Yeah, it's two straight edges, kind of. I would do it like this, but go up a little bit to give that extra room at the bottom. And then just trace it around, and then we'll cut it. Okay, so just with the Sharpie? Yep. Okay. Make sure you hold it in place. Get it where you want it. I'm getting ready to cut the sheet metal. You can see we've got the uh, template drawn. So now with this uh, throatless shear, we're going to actually cut the metal uh, along the line, and then test fit it on the car. Half inch all the way around the weld. So this right in here, half inch all the way around here, okay. here, and up there. Okay? okay. It's all you. So we've got the metal here. I'm putting this washer in uh, and welding that in, and then I'm going to weld the nut in like that. That way you've got a brace so when we bolt the body down uh, and we weld this panel on, this is going to be behind it. So now we'll have something to thread into.
You can see where we just tack welded all the way around, got a big beefy washer and then the nut on there. Now, uh, when that gets welded in, we can weld it, weld it in place all the way around here and then the bolt will go right through the hole and thread in. Okay, we've got the uh, piece in place held with magnets. We'll tack it in a couple places, pull the magnets away and then uh, go around piece by piece so we don't warp it. Uh, and then eventually, if you go every like half inch or so, eventually you end up filling the weld in all the way around.